next one is power delivered by the torque for this the power is delivered when the work is done per unit time okay so power the formula is what work done by time taken so work done per unit time if we differentiate the expression so that we are getting it as p is equal to dw by dt okay now what is this dw is that can be written as what tau into d theta okay so that is the formula for dw which we have seen already so tau into d theta by dt okay now this d theta by dt can be written as what omega because that is the rate of change of displacement okay because theta is a displacement omega is equal to what d theta by dt okay so apo d theta by dt equal and elthito omega elthito so p is equal to tau into omega if we are writing this in the analog form this can be written as instead of tau i am writing as f and omega is written as v so p is equal to f dot v so this is this gives the expression for the power so next is how we are writing the terms in translational as well as, as well as in the rotational okay so displacement if you are taking in trans, translational it is written as x and for rotational it is written as theta okay time is the same in translational t and also in the rotational it is written as t then velocity it is written as v here it is written as omega okay velocity is equal to what rate of change of displacement okay so we are writing as dx divided by dt and here it is d theta okay so omega is equal to d theta divided by dt okay next is acceleration acceleration is equal to what rate of change of velocity so it is dv divided by dt okay and next angular acceleration it is denoted by alpha it is rate of change of angular velocity so we are writing as dw by dt clear displacement Translational la pating na displacement x velocity v acceleration y okay v is equal to dx by dt acceleration is equal to dv by dt okay adi we rotational la pato na the angular displacement when the theta velocity when the omega that is equal to d theta by dt angular acceleration is equal to alpha that is d omega by dt okay mass we are writing as m and here we are having the moment of inertia that is i okay here we are having force translational na force rotational na the torque f is equal to na m into a illaya idu vandu according to newton second law ipo m ku badala namalukku ena irukku i so adanal i nu eldrom acceleration a ku badala ena paathom angular acceleration alpha so tau is equal to i into alpha clear linear momentum epdi eldranga na p okay here the angular momentum is l okay linear momentum oda in the side irukra formulas mattum therinjira podum we'll be able to write with this okay so linear momentum p is equal to nadu m into v m ku badala nam engena sonno i indradanaale i v is equal to what omega so i into omega clear then impulse is f here m impulse is tau okay idhila impulse vandu f into del t is equal to del p here f into del t is equal to del into l clear so mass when the m moment of inertia i f force here torque tau here angular momentum p angular momentum l impulse is f into del t is equal to del p idhila tau into del t is equal to del into l work done it is given by w is equal to f into s here work done is equal to tau into theta here the linear kinetic energy is half mv square here it is half i into omega square so in expressions la nam ipo dhan paathu mudichom illaya work done odu the kinetic energy power all this we have seen just now okay so power p is equal to f f into v here power p is equal to tau into omega clear